So welcome back for the second part of this run through of Caverna the Cave Farmers. And it's time for the fifth round and so uh, now uh, we refill everything and now we can also build some ruby mines. And uh, we need to do that either on top of the tunnels or on top of the sort of black tunnels that are coming with the ore mine that we can build first. And that's better of course than we get an extra uh, ruby right away. So let's see, I'm the first player and I need to get some children here. Uh, so I'll just go over here and wish for children. And so I get the third worker. Now Drac already has his third worker, right? So he can do one more thing and then me this round. And I think he will go, now that he, you know, he's going to, he wants to have a fighter dwarf as well. So he's going over here. He will get, oh wait, maybe he should, Hmm, I think that's better. Uh, instead, instead of doing that, he will go over here, get two stones, and he will get one of these tunnel places again, the place over here, and so now he's ready to build an ore mine, because if he waits with going and getting that ore, if he goes there when he has an ore mine, he will get two extra ore. So it's my turn, I have my level 9 dwarf, hmm, I think I should, uh, I think I will sort of go for, I will go for get, sort of getting a dwelling again pretty soon, um, so I will go here get those three wood, and so he will go on a mission, now he's level 9, so now I can also go get this thing done here, hmm. But I think, yeah, he will just go for furnishing a cavern right away, uh, get another dwelling. And I don't have, I only have two stones. I will go for one of these cheap ones here, so that's uh, four wood and two stone. I don't get any points for this though, but uh, I will get another worker out faster. So I think it's a good idea to do that anyway. So we'll put it in my only room I have here, down there like that and so it's Dracula's turn now he will go uh, over here he will make an ore mine so he will get three ore right away and he will build an ore mine it looks like this uh, so uh, now it will give him three points but it also will give him more ore uh, when he goes over there to grab it so let's see we'll have to put it over two uh, tunnels like this and so it's my turn again, but it's not because I don't have any dwarfs left. <laughs> Draco has one more. So he will go again, and now he goes to the ore mining. He will get all this ore that has a sort of uh, amassed up there. And he will get two extra because he has an ore mine. So now you can see he has a bunch of ore here. He's ready to get a really good fighter dwarf the next round. And so that was it. We go home. I get my new born here. Uh, my fighter dwarf that actually went up to level 10. I keep forgetting this for some reason that they level up, but it's important. And then Draco goes home with his three guys. And at the end of this turn, we're going to have a harvest. And now we're going to do it the proper way. We're going to have the harvest right away before we start refilling. So let's see. Now we are, I think we're in some trouble. Uh, let's see. Uh, food. Well, first of all, we would uh, do the field phase and harvest our crops, but I haven't planted my crops. I should have done that, of course. All right, so I will have to pay five food now because I have a baby dwarf, uh, so he only costs one. So that's three, and then I will spend one of these vegetables, and it's worth two. So that's five food right there. And it's Draco. Let's see, he has some troubles here. Now, if you can't feed your uh, people, then you will have to take minus uh, points cards. So that's really bad. Uh, he doesn't want to do that. Uh, he didn't plan for this. All right, he should have done that. But okay, so this is one food. And... Oh my, this is really bad. <laughs> I, saw, I sort of missed this uh, here with Draco. Uh, he should, of course, have gotten some food somehow. Hmm, well, then I'll get to show you how it works, so... So Draco will have to take one of these, minus three point tile. That's what happens when you plan, <laughs> don't plan ahead. 
So that's one of the dwarfs there. Then he has to be three foods. So we'll have to sacrifice uh, two sheep and one wheat. And uh, so that's for the baby and one of the big uh, older ones. And that was uh, minus three for one of them that didn't get any food. Oh, that was bad. Really bad. But uh, at least I get to show you how it works. All right. Poor Draco. And so we go to the breeding phase. And now Draco only has one sheep. So uh, one dog, so you know, naturally they can't breed. So you no know, animals comes out, and we go to round number six. And so in round number six, we get some donkey farming as well. It works exactly the way, same way as the sheep farming works. You can build pastures and stables, but we will have sheep uh, instead of sheep. We will have donkeys building up here. And at the end of this round, we have a gray marker here, which we will flip after this round, and then. Uh, either it, it could be a normal harvest, or it could be no harvest, or it could be pay one food per dwarf instead of harvest, or it could be skip the field phase or the breeding phase. But these go, like the first one goes here, and then the second and third. So, um, we don't know if we're going to have to feed our dwarves or not. But we still have to plan for it, of course, so we don't end up like Draco did right now. Uh, so, let's see, I'm the first player out, and I will... What am I doing for? I need to plant my crops. Yeah, I need to do that. So I will, first of all, I will go for the sustenance space where I get these three food and I will need. Uh, I get another wheat and I get another farm tile, which is most, the most important part of this uh, project. Let's see. And I will put it like this. So I will cover up a pig there or a wild boar. So he comes to me, he can live here in my cave. I have room for two animals in the dwelling there. And so it's Draco's turn. And Draco wants to get a fighter dwarf, of course. So he'll go over here and he will pay eight ore. Uh, eight ore. So he's level eight right away. Well, he will actually be level nine once he's done with the mission here. So I'll just put a nine there. And so he would do three missions on level eight, remember? And so let's see, he can do... Hmm, uh, he will start with furnishing a cavern. And so we'll go over here. And he will get this wood supplier, costs him one stone. And so he will place it down here in his room. And now, he, at the beginning of the next seven rounds, he will get one wood. So that's not bad. Uh, we'll just put it out here like this to indicate that. Now, there aren't even seven rounds left, but uh, still. Uh, that's some wood he gets quite cheap. And so he has two more things he can get on the expedition. Uh, let's see, I think... Um, he's going to get one sheep so they can start breeding again, of course. And then he needs something for the food, so I'll just grab a pig, he can eat that uh, if he has to. So um, that was his three things. Now it's back to me and... Uh, yeah, now I'm going to go to the slash and burn. So I will get to place one uh, farm tile first of all. So I'll put it down like this and now I get to place a uh, plan or a what's it called uh, grow some crops <laughs> so it's called I will get to sow up to two of each kind so I will do two uh, wheat and one uh, vegetable and the way this works is then you will then I will get to add and uh, so I will get to add two wheat here and then in the harvest I can pick one of them off right when I sort of harvest it that way uh, it will uh, increase, uh, let's see, and so I will uh, get more and more and more of course as we go. So that's a good way to feed my uh, dwarfs. And so that was my turn, I went to the slash and burn, now it's Draco. And he needs to get some food sort of desperately here. Um, but I think actually he will go... Yeah, 
yeah, he's going to get, get go through ruby mining. He gets all of these rubies, and I mean, he can sort of transform one of these into two foods. So that, uh, but also he can use them for other other stuff. I will show you here. Uh, these rubies are quite nice. For one ruby, you can get uh, at any time. It's sort of not an action. You can convert it in into any of these things. Uh, one plus one food, you can get a cow, and two, you can get to put another room down. So for one, he could, you know, uh, expand his farm. He could. Uh, uh, build some more tunnels, you can get some things to eat and so on. So that's quite nice uh, to have those rubies. Also, when you have this, um, his little fighter dwarf, you know, he sleeps in so he has to go last. But the thing is, if you pay one ruby, then you can switch the order up so he can go first instead. That's a really good way for him to be able to go to a good spot and do the expeditions before I can do it. Uh, so um, rubies are nice to have. Alright, then it's my turn and I have a level 10 dwarf. Uh, now it's already full up there. I can't go do that. But of course I want to go on a mission with him, so... Uh, I could go down here, but I can't build an ore mine. I don't have room for that. Hmm... Maybe I should skip the mission this round? No, that's not good. No, I would go in here anyway. Um, uh, I'm not sure about this. Maybe I don't get these three. I don't think I do if I don't build the ore, ore mine. So I'll just go there to do two missions uh, on level 10, which means I can do... Um, well, first of all, I'll grab one wood. That's number one. And number two is I will spend two wood to do this action to get the pasture for two woods. It's sort of cheaper. And I will get to place it down right away. For half the price, it costs four otherwise, and I will place it down here just like Draco did. And I get a pasture where I can have some animals later on. So let's see, now it's Draco's turn, and he needs to think about his food issues, of course. Uh, yeah, he needs to get some food, but I, he can do it in different ways, of course. Um, I mean, he could go over here and just grab some, because you can grab a lot of animals, even if you can't fit them anywhere, you can just transform them into food right away. Well, not transform, you're sort of slaughtering them, but uh, anyway. But I think he will just go up here, he will grab four food laying here. And he will get the first player. And he also gets two ore there, so that's not bad. So now he is the first player, that could be good for him as well. Um, yeah, okay, I'm not playing, I'm not playing the best strategy right now, I realized that. I re just realized I should have gotten some children, that was, you know, the whole point of building another dwelling. But anyway, uh, this, uh, this video is of course just to make you uh, get an idea of how the game runs and see if you might like it. So I might do some, you know, weird mistakes. Uh, so we are ready for the next round, almost. We'll have to check here and see are we going to get a uh, harvest or not. And uh, we get the normal harvest, so let's do that first then. Okay, so let's see. Uh, first of all, now we have the field phase and I will get to harvest one of, from each field. Like that. Draco doesn't have anything planted. Then we go to the feeding. Uh, or, well, actually, maybe we should just send a home, dwarves home first. I like to do that, um, because then you can easily see uh, who you're going to pay food for and so on. And so, they will go home. And uh, Draco's Dwarf should actually be, be level 10. And mine should be level 11 in, le in level. 11 in level. Uh, there we go. And now we need to feed those dwarves, so uh, I will have to pay six food. I have three right here. Then I will spend a vegetable for two and a wheat for one, so that's six in total. So he's fed, or they're all fed. Uh, Draco uh, needs six food as well, he has four, and then he will sort of... Well, they're not going to eat the ruby, I guess, but he can sort of uh, trade it for food or something. So then he will cover that, and then we have the breeding phase, and he will get another sheep. Uh, I only have one poor little pig living here, so <laughs> there's no breeding going on there. But then we are ready for the um, round number seven, 
But I think you got an idea how this game runs. Uh, we'll just, I mean, you just keep going here for five more rounds. Um, you will get more and more workers, sort of, as you wish for children. You will get more and more buildings built. There's a bunch of buildings up here. I can just show you some of them, like this one. If you build it, you get one point at the end for each stone you have. That's good. Um, this one, you get three points for each dwarf that has a weapon. That could be a way to get a lot of points in the end. And so on. There's a bunch of different tiles. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, but that's how the game works. You will sort of, as you play it, you will learn these tiles. You'll see different strategies that you can do. How you can combine different moves. Uh, in order to uh, get the most points and win at the end, of course. And if you play this with more people, I would recommend this. I mean, this is a fun two-play game, but I recommend it with like four people. That's perfect. Uh, you will have a lot of more spaces you can go to and things you can do and so on. And you will also get this sort of more of a competition who can get there first and so on. It's quite fun. So I hope you enjoyed this little run through. And so I hope you will go and like the video, subscribe to the channel, please. Check out my other videos and tell your friends about the channel, please. And have a nice morning or evening or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye-bye.